It's now time for our special moment with the children. And just like every Sunday since we started virtual worship, I really wish you all were around me this morning because uh, I want to ask you if any of you have any special collections that you keep. I have with me one of my collections um, that I've been keeping for a few years, and I'd love to hear about what you go out and search for and keep special in your own lives. But I can just show you mine this morning. I've been doing this collection ever since I moved out of my parents' house, because it was a collection my mom used to keep, too. And it's of different pieces of sea glass. So every time I go to the beach or go walk near the ocean, if I find a piece of sea glass, really big pieces or really small pieces, I put them in my pocket and I take them home and I put them in this jar. And I wanted to bring this particular collection in this morning because I think it has something to do with what Max is going to preach about. Max is going to talk to us this morning about prayer, about how prayer impacts who we are. And when you think about sea glass, sea glass starts out as these little pieces of broken glass, things that normally are kind of dangerous. If you see broken glass on the street, you stay away. You tell your parents, somebody picks it up and puts it somewhere that it's not going to hurt anybody, it's not going to cut anybody. But this glass somehow makes its way into the ocean, and the waves wash over it, and the sand gravels it, and it hits up against rocks, and all of those jagged parts are somehow made smooth, and it's made kind of cloudy and misty, and it turns into this really, really beautiful thing that you can hold in your hand without getting cut, that you can put in your pocket without being afraid, that you can take home with you. And in a lot of ways, I think that's how prayer can work on us. Because if we're being honest, we all have our own jagged edges. We all have those little corners of ourselves that feel selfish or feel mean, that don't want to share, that don't want to be kind. But when we pray, we allow God to wash over us and we allow the Holy Spirit to gravel up against us and start working down on some of those jagged edges till we become even more beautiful than we started. And that's a lesson that I want to leave us with today, that when we invite God into our lives through prayer, we're inviting God to work on us the way the ocean works on sea glass. Amen.